Now there are a lot of videos about burying caches. They show preppers burying them and digging them back up, but I really don't see any explaining why you should or should not do this. A few videos do touch on the idea, mostly in favor of the practice, but not very extensively. So if you're on the fence, here's some pros and cons to this practice that may help you decide. Remember, there's a lot of preppers out there who like to bury their stuff. The idea for many preppers is that if they're going to bug out, they have the option of extra supplies along the way. Now, I'm not telling you if you should or not, but I am going to give you both sides of the equation. That's right, I'm going to give you four pros and four cons, both for and against this practice. Basically, I'm showing you the balance so that you can make your own determination as to whether or not you want to start burying caches of your own. Or perhaps you already do this and hadn't thought it completely through. Either way, it's up to you because everybody needs to do things a little bit differently. There's no perfect way for any one person to prep. So here we go, and I'll start with the pros first. Number one. It helps you to not keep all your eggs in one basket. If you have a lot of stuff, but it's all in one place, that may not always be very convenient in an emergency. Number two, it provides for extra provisions on your journey. Have you got a long way to go? It could be helpful if you had access to a few extras along the way, especially since if there's a lot of bad stuff going on, your bug out could take much longer than expected. Number three, it gives you the option of having a stash for backup or emergencies. There may not necessarily be a bug out situation, but something might be going down and you can't get home and you are in need of supplies. Number four, no one but you, hopefully, knows about its existence. So if there is some huge social or government change, for example, gun confiscation, then after the smoke clears, you still have something stashed away. And now the cons. Number one, your stash might be discovered. No matter how well hidden it is, there are people out there looking for stuff like this or whatever else they can scavenge. Or have you never seen people walking around in the woods, on the beach, and on trails with metal detectors? Also, it's a possibility that no matter how careful you were, someone could have seen you. Number two, something could go wrong and you can't go the way you expected. Some accident, some problem, some checkpoint, a group of people you weren't expecting to see, something may have caused you to alter your plan and you simply can't access your stash. Number three, no matter how well protected, something could still happen to damage or misplace it. And what you packed up could be damaged or contaminated. Now I know you were really careful, but disasters do happen, especially in nature. And man does happen also. You could bury your stash, go back a year later and find a Walmart on that spot. You never know what's going to happen. Number four. You might forget where it is. This actually happens, more so than a lot of preppers would like to admit. You have it written down somewhere, but now you can't find that paper. You can't find that map. The landscape seems different. Or maybe the situation is a grid down and you had your stash mapped on global positioning. I know that sounds really stupid to use global positioning, but guess what? A lot of preppers do. And there you go. Four reasons for and four reasons against. Hopefully this will help some of you make a decision as to how you would like to proceed when it comes to burying caches. If you have any comments pertaining to the video, please do post it in the comment section down below. I do try and answer as many as I can. For those of you who are not aware, I also have another channel that has more socially oriented content called Coffee Talk. If you would like to check that channel out, I will put a link in the description down below. If you would like to help out the channel, there is also a PayPal link in the 
description down below. Every little bit is always appreciated. Please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications button if you are a subscriber so that you will be alerted as to when new content comes out because YouTube does not care if you know or not. They love sanctioning my videos and redirecting my subscribers. So that being said, as always, stay frosty, folks, and thanks for watching.